Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to import a DWG file from AutoCAD into Max. First of all, if you go to AutoCAD, I have this plan already ready for me. So um, all I need from this file is actually to know the scale of this file and to take a reference measurement from here. First of all, go to Units, UN Enter, and then you can see that this is made by centimeters. The units is centimeters. So this is good. Second thing I'm going to ask for the distance of, let's say, this wall in here from here to here. And you can see it's 1,220 centimeters. So it's like 12 meter and 20 centimeters. That's the second step. So that's it. I'm done from AutoCAD. And in, in Max, I just have to change my units. The units in here are grids equal to 10, generic units. I'm going to go customize, unit setup. I'm going to go to metric, and I'm going to use centimeters, same as the file before. I'm just going to go system units. Each 10 centimeters, 10 units equal to 1 unit equal to 10 centimeters. So I'm done. So now the grid is equal to 100 centimeters, which is perfect. Now I can go file, import, and I'm going to import a non-native file format which is a DWG file. If I want to import a Max file, I would merge it. Let's say I'm getting a library from somewhere else, which is a Max file, I have to merge it from here. So in my case, I'm gonna import a DWG file. It's on my desktop, this is it, and open. All I need in here, just make sure the incoming file is centimeters, so it's perfect. This is centimeters and mine is centimeters too, so it's good. These are the layers, I'm gonna import all the layers, and in the spline, I don't need them to be uh, renderable in viewport or renderer, so I don't want any thickness in radial thickness or rectangular thickness. So I'm set, all set for this. So press OK, and my file is now imported. First thing to do, just check that this measurement is correct. To make sure, we just go to the helpers, helpers tab, tape. So I'm going to go tape, snap from this point, click and drag to this point, and you can read in here it's 1,220 centimeters, exactly the same measurement that I had in AutoCAD. So the file is perfectly correct. I just imported. Uh, scale is good. So now, all I need to do, just select the layers in here. One of the layers is called walls, which is perfect. So select the walls and extrude. And my extrusion is around 300 centimeters or 3 meters, and all is set. Now it's all black, not a big deal. Just go to materials and give it any other material for now. And instead of realistic, I'm going to go shade it to take off the, all the shadows. It will be a bit clearer for me. So now all the walls are extruded. All is good, except for one wall, which is this wall. You can see it's empty from the inside, so I have an issue in it. And the others are all perfect. So what I want to do, just go editable poly, and I need to debug. So one of the first things that I would do, I would select all, all the vertices, and weld. Make sure my weld distance is uh, one centimeter, not enough to weld the close uh, vertices to each other. So that's it. And then I can check it out, and you can see my, my issue is not done. So I have a problem in here. If you can see this wall is interlacing the other one. So there's an intersection in here. I think there's an error. So just go to vertex and just make sure. I'm going to select this vertex and move it, or this vertex and move it. So I have an issue here. You see, I have two vertices over each other. So what I need to do, just select this edge or segment and delete, and then select these two points and weld them again. And if I go extrude now, it should be perfect. So now it's done. Now, second thing I need to do, I need to create my windows and doors. To create my windows and doors, I need to create the footer and header for the windows and the headers for the doors. So I'm going to go. Best thing to do, just go to uh, Shapes, Rectangle, and from my top view, 2.5D, and I'm going to create the rectangles. Instead of doing each rectangle by itself, I'm going to uncheck this, which is Start New Shape, so all the rectangles, they're going to be attached to each other by default. So, select this rectangle in here. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, and I would do the same thing for the others, other windows. In here, I cannot create a rectangle, so I, what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to create a line because it is with an angle. Make sure you close the spline, and again, for this one, close the spline. So now, what I did actually, so if I want to move these headers or footers, they are all attached together. I don't need to attach them again. So now, I'm just going to go snap to the points 3D and extrude. Extrude. I need 100 centimeter as a footer, and I'm going to shift, drag on the Z axis in here, copy, and I'm going to extrude minus 80 centimeters. So I ended up with having a window which is 1 meter and 20. So 300 centimeters minus 100 minus 80, I end up with 120. So now I select these and give them the same material. Now you can see I have my headers and footers of the windows. The windows are clearly where they should be. Okay? All is good. Now what I want to do, actually do the same for the doors. So, just make sure 2.5D again, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Rectangle, don't start new shape, make them attach. That's gonna be the first one. Second, I'm gonna have a header in here with no doors, okay? Same thing goes for this door and this door. I'm gonna have the same thing in here. I have also a header in here and a header in here. And same thing in here. I have header, header, without doors. It's just a header in the ceiling. So that's it. And that's my last door. And I still have these parking doors. And I think I did it all. So it should be perfect. Now what I have to do, I just need to snap them. So I'm going to snap 3D, just on Z, snap them on the headers. And I'm going to go extrude. I'm going to extrude the minus 80 so that the door will be 2 meters and 20 centimeters. If I need it more or less, I just adjust my extrusion. So now I end up having all my headers and footers. Now what I want to do is to create the ceiling and the floor. Actually, I don't have a layer for the ceiling or the floor. I can just create it from here. Create by line. I have two ways. Either create one ceiling or one floor for all the interior or just each room by itself. In my case, I'm gonna do it once for everything, so just to make it faster. So I'm gonna just gonna go snapping around the contour. Just make sure I'm gonna snap 2.5D to make sure I don't have on the Z axis. And I'm just gonna go on the exterior part. And here, I'm going to click here. I need to go on this stop. So I'm just going to miss it now, and I will do it later on. That's it. Now what I want to do, actually, I want to connect this portion. So select this portion, which is the layer, which includes a lot of things. So I don't want to destruct this. So I'm going to just select these points, make sure they are welded first. And then I'm going to select the segment or the spline. This spline, I'm going to detach it with a copy. So I'm going to detach it with a copy. So I'm going to keep the original copy, which is here, and I'm going to keep another one. I'm going to do the same for the second one. So detach with the copy, and I'm going to do the same for the third one. Detach with a copy. So now I'm done. I'm going to do the same in here. Oh, actually, I don't need it in here. So I'm done. So what I can do, I can just right click on this layer and hide selection. So I hide it, all the layer and I ended up with these three lines. So now what I want to do, select this and select this. And I'm gonna right click, hide unselected or just press this button to isolate. So I'm gonna isolate everything, hide everything except these two items. So first of all, I'm gonna select the segment. This segment, I don't need it. I need it to be continued from here. So now I need to attach this part and select the vertex and I'm going to select these points and weld. Now I end up with doing everything is fine. Now I can just extrude and depending on my extrusion I should go negative 
45. I'm going to give it the same material. Now, this is my second step. I'm going to go on Z axis minus 15. And this one, I'm going to go minus 30. So, if I extrude this one, it's going to be extruded as a contour. The lines will be extruded. I need to be extruded as a whole element. What I will need to do actually, I have to go in here, go to vertex, and I'm going to connect these two points. So connect this point, drag to this point in here. Now they're connected and welded. I can extrude now. Instead of minus 45, it's going to be minus 15 each step. Same thing goes for the second one. So I'm going to fix it from here. Connect, click, drag to here. And now I can just extrude now. Also minus 15. So now I'm done. So select these two points, two parts, and I'm going to give them this material. And I ended up with this step. That's why the first step I extruded by 45 because I'm adding 15, 15, and 15. I can do the same thing for the stairs in here. Right click, unhide all. Just select no. I don't want to hide, unhide the layers, just unhide the objects. So now I'm select the rectangle. Click and drag. That's the first one. That's the second step. And that's the third step. So the, the third step is going to be negative 30. The second step is going to be negative 15 and the first step it's going to be here so that's going to be extruded minus 45 this is going to be extruded minus 15 and that's going to be extruded minus 15 too so now I'm going to select these give them the same material and I have this entrance in here which is the kitchen balcony or the entrance for the kitchen and this is the main entrance same thing goes for the um, for the ceiling so what I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna select this layer which is the floor and 3d I'm gonna snap it with the copy Z axis and that's it instead of having negative I'm gonna have it plus 15 and that's it so all is good the ceiling except for this part this part, I need to change it. I'm going to go to the line. I'm going to have this entrance to have the ceiling in here. So I'm going to select this point and this point, 2.5D. I'm going to snap them on Y to this point. And then I need to change this curve, right click in here, make them corners, and now they are corners. And that's what I did. Just fix this into the ceiling. Now what I want to do actually I need to create the walls, uh, the, the windows and doors. I'm just going to select the windows and I'm going to make sure I'm going to snap them on 3D on X only. Click and drag on X and I'm going to snap them in here. So this is the layer in here. That's the window. So I'm going to create windows. Go to geometry, create geometry and instead of standard primitives, we're going to go windows. We have several windows. Most of the windows um, are, use, are useful, but what we care about is casement and sliding. Okay, in this case, we can see them. They are sliding windows, so I'm going to create sliding. To create them, we have to create the width, then the depth, then the height. So, I'm just going to make sure my uh, framing are good. Let's say four centimeters, four centimeter thickness um, should be like an eight. Uh, thickness is 0.5. The glazing, the glass. Uh, this is four centimeters and should be, I'm gonna flip the hook. Click and drag, width, I release, then the height, the width I mean, click, and then I'm gonna go to the height and that's it, okay? You can check each one that I change, what does it represent, so you can see, all right? And now you can have this window open and close, okay? So I did the first one, the other is gonna be identical so click and drag width depth and then height okay all right so all is good now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pause this and then continue later on. okay we're back as you can see i've just created the whole windows so same thing i just created on and on and all is good now what i want to do create doors 
So I'm going to select this tool and I'm going to go to the same place, go geometry. Instead of windows, I'm going to go select tools. And I have different types of tools. I'm going to use pivot. The most useful are pivot and sliding. So in here, I'm going to go from the inside of the frame because I'm going to create the frame using my doors. So click and drag this width, height, depth, I mean, and this is my height. So this is the door. I need to change actually the sizes, just forgot. So it's going to be five centimeters in width in here, one centimeter in depth, which is the frame depth. And door offset is fine. Thickness of the door is going to be like four centimeters. And that's it. I'm fine with it. Um, if I want to change the, gla the glazing, if I need to create like glasses, so I can create something like this. And I'm going to create a glass. And instead of one door, I'm going to have double doors like this. And it should be fine. That's it. Okay. So that's going to be the first door. I'm going to hide this. And I'm going to create some other doors. I'm just going to create one door in here and I'll do the others later on. So, width, depth, and height. That's gonna be only one door. I don't need to have glazing in it, it's gonna be just a simple door, and that's gonna be how it's gonna open. So perfect. I can do the others on the rest. I'm gonna pause now, and I can do it later on. Okay guys, we're back. Uh, what I did actually, I just uh, created the doors for all uh, the interior and windows for all the interior. So now I'm set up, all is done. So what I did, I created the interior of all this. So right click, unhide all, no layers, and now I have the ceilings. So in the next tutorial, what we're going to do actually, we're going to give materials to these to the walls and to the windows and to the doors and everything else so that's it for now hope you enjoyed this tutorial take care and have a nice day